Hello, this is Malorian, and this is now the third game of the Onslaught Tournament, and it's going to be 2,000 points of my Orcs and some Dark Elves. Alright, so so far in this tournament I've had one big massacre loss, one big massacre win. Very disappointing, but for you viewers, I just want to know, if you're going to watch one battle, watch this one. This one was the best game of the tournament, for me. Now, in this one here, uh, this is up against this guy. He's from a different city, but, you know, we've met together at various events. You know, he's a, a, a great guy, and every single time we have a game, it's a whole bunch of fun. So, you know, when we saw that we were up against each other, we were both really happy with the matchup. Uh, he was saying sorry to me, because usually he runs Wood Elves, but this time he is really going seriously for the win. So he took a fairly strong Dark Elf list. So what we got on his side is that he has two Hydras, he has a whole BSB cauldron, he has his Corsairs, then the Spears with the level 4 with the Dagger and Shadow Magic, and then he also has the Blackguard, and he has some of those... I can't, the name escapes me right now, but the little skirmishers there on my right. And he actually has two units of them, but the secondary objective that I'm going for this one is the one where you had to pick one unit of 200 points or less just to not even use in the game, and you automatically got it. So I went for a troll, he went for them, and so seems like a pretty good deal for me anyway. But anyway, what this really is, is that this is blood and glory. So... Straight up, Blood and Glory, and unlike other times I've had this in a tournament, if you actually win by Blood and Glory, you just get the Massacre. It's not a thing where they just give you 500 points, which usually turns into a Massacre anyway. You just get it. Uh, the other thing that was different with this was that they actually tell you in there that if once you get it, you should play on. But I think for most people, they didn't bother, because really, once you win Blood and Glory, it's usually because you have a general or something killed, and you're pretty much doomed anyway. So anyway, for my side of the list, it's the same as always, and really, when I got those Hydras paired up against my Black Orcs, I was thrilled, because with that Flaming Banner, I can beat those things, and the fact that they're off on the side, and that my main unit, the Savage Orcs, can go in and just rip up his middle units, I was ecstatic. Of course, in the last mini-tournament, I had a Dark Eldar list, or Dark Elf list like this just rip me apart with shadow magic so I'm gonna to have to be a little bit careful but we'll see how it goes so I get turn one and then just to get that out there those skirmishing units are shades <laughs> uh, but anyway uh, no animosity problems no stupidity problems so I'm really just pushing up uh, I'm trying to be a little bit careful with my black orcs so that hopefully I'm far enough back that only one of the hydras will make it in at a time because even though I like that matchup <laughs> between the double flaming attack and the double thunder stomps, it's just deadly. So I'd rather do these one at a time, and then otherwise my troll is just facing over there just to try and give those shades a little bit of trouble, or at least even just to be an annoyance and something that hopefully he'll deal with the troll instead of something more important. Uh, right here, he did actually pull off the double charge with the Hydras, so again, uh, I didn't want to fight them both at the same time, but I, I really like my odds here, and if nothing else, I like the Hydras aren't in the center, and in case you missed it, I actually got off the big foot of Gork the first turn, uh, smashed his Corsairs, killed a whole bunch, but then he got to hit me, and it scattered right off of me, so it didn't matter, but uh, it's nice to have one of his units already being brought down. Anyway, in this combat here, again, Shadow Magic, my new nemesis, uh, it really changes this fight because all of a sudden I'm minus 3 strength. So whereas I used to be <laughs> strength 7 and easily wounding him, now I'm going to be wounding him on 5s. And it's a totally different story. So, end of his turn, it looks like this. Uh, he actually shifted backwards, which is, you know, he he's a, a good player. He's not going to just run into my face and die. Uh, on the left there, you can see that, yeah, he, he released both of his breath weapons, kicked my butt. Uh, I did just a couple of wounds to each of them, so at least I did some damage. But, I mean, damn, that 5 plus the wound is pretty tough. Uh, all of his shades shot at my troll, which I thought was great, and I even survived with one wound. So, that's going pretty good for me. My turn two, then, uh, I have my Squig Herd Horde that tried to declare a charge on his uh, cauldron there. Unfortunately, I was short. I mean, I needed a 10, so it was just kind of a long bomb that I failed, and that's no problem. Uh, the Savage Orcs are pushing up. Again, I, I could have gone a little bit farther, but I'm hoping he's going to fail a couple of those charges. Uh, the Troll passed Stupidity, and he's really just back there to get in their way to make sure that 
I don't know, just so that they can't try and charge straight through. Uh, just really just being annoyance. And then on the left, you can see my black orcs are still there. I think I did one more wound to the left one. I'm going to die, but my biggest worry now is that I need to get into his main line before his hydras are free. Because once those hydras are free, stuff is just going to die. So his turn two, and he decides this is the turn to go for it. So he's uh, sending in both these Corsairs and the the Black Guard here. Now the Black Guard, you can also see, I also hit them with a foot last turn. Uh, again, it was a big version, only hit the once. Uh, his he had a five plus ward on them because of his cauldron, which helped him a bit. But still, you can see they're greatly reduced from what they are, and I think this is fantastic. Uh, of course, it really is going to find out what happens in the magic phase, but with this, I can take out two banners right away and then just have to hunt down his uh, mage. However, this is going to be a pretty tough fight because in his magic phase, even though it wasn't a super strong one, uh, he did manage to get off Mind Razor on the Corsairs. Now, these are frenzied Corsairs with plus one attack thanks to the cauldron, so each guy in the front is going to have four attacks at strength nine or eight or whatever leadership they are. So very deadly and of course my worry is that if he just goes after my war boss this is over and yeah so this is what it looks like at the end here so his shades really just ran to the other side of the troll and so i was kind of worried that now they're going after my bunker but then they turned around to shoot my troll and then failed to kill it so again i just love that my 35 point troll is keeping them busy on the left his hydras finish off my black orcs so i better hurry now um in the combat there, man, this was a very bloody combat. Uh, <laughs> I mean, with all those Mind Razor attacks, he did a ton of damage to me. I think he killed 17 of my guys. Uh, also did a wound to my Great Shaman. I was really happy he didn't attack my Lord. And then in return, of course, I mean, 4 plus, 2 plus for me and so many attacks. I completely wipe out his Corsairs, bring his Black Guard down to just two guys. They, you know, are stubborn in hold, but... Wow, super bloody. I combat reform just to get ranks because I might as well now. And uh, yeah, it's uh, getting close to it now. My turn three. Again, animosity is good. My troll fails to pity and just walks up to them. Uh, I really... The biggest thing that happened here is my squeak herd horde charged into his cauldron. And I thought, I'm just going to destroy the thing. But... Uh, you know, I'm hitting 4 plus, 2 plus, but the big thing that happened here was his 4 plus ward. So I, I caused 6 wounds, he passed 5 of them, but, uh, you know, hey, I'm going to eventually win this thing here, or should. Uh, and as well, I got foot of, Wark, uh, foot of Gork again, and look what it did to his spearmen. So they're in prime position for me to kill them with my savages. I just finished off his black guard, and so as far as the mission goes, he's down to a fortitude of Four. He has the BSB, the Spearman, and the General. And for me, I'm down to four as well. I got the Savage Orcs, the General, and the, the BSB. So uh, it depends how things go. It could go either way. But uh, of course now those Hydras are coming in. So on his turn, this was pretty crazy. Uh, he gets a fairly good magic phase, and it gets a lot done. Uh, my squigs are minus three strength, so that's going to make life difficult. And he also got the spell off my savages, where they're going to be minus three movement and initiative and weapon skill and all that. But the big thing is that he miscast, and it was the, the bad one, where he does the, the large template, nearly wiped out his own unit. Uh, luckily, his mage didn't die, but because he has a champion there, you know, the banner's dead, he's down another one, and uh, it's, yeah, that wasn't any good luck for him. And after his turn, it looks like this, so I, I did a couple more wounds to his BSB unit there, just picking away at it, and uh, otherwise, you can see, here comes those hydras. His turn four then, uh, really all I wanted to do was try and slow down the Hydra. So I had my BSB run in front of one, my uh, Night Goblins go to block the other, and then really I just used my dice to dispel the spell that was on my Squig Herd Horde and chew up the BSB. He's down to a fortitude of two and loses by the mission. So victory to the Orcs, but this one was fairly close and, I mean, could have easily gone either way uh you know th that huge combat in the center where he had those mind razored 
Corsairs was <laughs> a real deciding factor. Because, of course, if he would have destroyed the unit of mine, the game would have just been over. But, uh, you know, it was a great fun game. Both of us loved all of the death and destruction, the big huge fight between his Hydras and my Black Orcs, uh, that big huge scrum in the center. And it was just a real fun game overall. So, you know, I mean, after two games that were just very one-sided, it was really nice to have a game like this that was bloody and fun and... Uh, just another great game that I had with this guy. So, thanks for watching.